How's it going dragons? This is the legendary Dragon Duelist JP and today I'm going to show you some must know combos that you need to know in order to play Thunder Dragons. Now I did one of these must know combos before with Cyber Dragons and you guys seem to really like it so I decided to do another one but this time for Thunder Dragons since it is more of a combo based strategy. Now there are a few bread and butter combos that you need to know but a lot of the times with Thunder Dragons you're just going to start comboing off with all the extenders that you have in your hand. So I'm going to show you a few combos but I'm also going to go through a test hand and show you how to play through disruption. Starting off of course I have Aloof Lupine and Thunder Dragon Matrix as the first combo. Cards in Thunder Dragons just combo really well so easily. Like these two cards get you to a pretty nice board. So we're gonna start off by normal summoning a Loof Lupine and that's going to banish a card from our hand so we're gonna banish Thunder Dragon Matrix and that's for cost by the way. So if your opponent uses like a Valor or an Imperm right now even though they're not that good in this format you still get the effect of your Matrix. But right now I'm showing it to you if we weren't to get disrupted so I'm going to banish Thunder Dragon Roar. It's best to do Thunder Dragon Roar Chain Link 1 and Thunder Dragon Matrix Chain Link 2 so that way if they have an Ash Blossom, your Thunder Dragon Roar is still going to resolve and you get an Extender. So, we're going to add the Matrix to our hand and we're going to Special Summon the Thunder Dragon Dark. Next up, we're going to Link Summon these two into your Predaplant Verte Anaconda. This of course is to get out your Dragoon. If you also need your Thunder Dragon Fusion in certain situations, that could also work. And now since we just sent Thunder Dragon Dark from the field to the graveyard, we can add a Thunder Dragon Fusion from our deck to our hand, which we will then immediately activate, shuffling back all of our Thunder Dragon cards, all the Thunder Dragon monsters into the deck. They could go right there. And then that's going to summon out our Thunder Dragon Titan. Thunder Dragon Fusion in the graveyard is also a recovery play for next turn. Thunder Dragon Fusion is also a follow-up play for next turn. You banish it from the graveyard, add Thunder Dragon to your hand, and then you keep on using Thunder Dragon's effect to pop with Titan. But I'm going to show you this full combo first before talking about that any further. So next all we do now is just activate Anaconda and send our Dragoon stuff to the graveyard. Summon out Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. You could summon it here. I like to summon Thunder Dragon Titan right there because now that's the only safe zone due to Drytrons. Because if you summon it anywhere in these four zones, they could just take control of it. Of course, with their Link Monster that they have in the extra deck. I forgot what its name was. I'll put it on the screen right now. With this board, you of course have the Dragoon, which is an Omni Negate and a boss monster. And you also have a Thunder Dragon Titan, which is another boss monster, and a pop when you discard Matrix with its effect. You're also going to have three other cards in your opening hand, so that means you have a card to discard with Dragoon. And also, hopefully, enough extenders to make a Masquerina, so that way you can link off Anaconda. Okay, so this next combo I'm going to show you involves Chaos Space and Thunder Dragon Roar. Now, this one isn't going to get you to your Thunder Dragon Titan, but it is going to get you to Negates also. Because sometimes you don't have access to Thunder Dragon Titan, but that doesn't mean that you can't get a good board at all. So first we're going to activate Chaos Space, dumping our Thunder Dragon Roar, and that's going to search us for our Wyvern Burster. Next, Wyvern Burster is going to banish the Thunder Dragon Roar, and that'll trigger Roar's effect to Special Summon, Thunder Dragon Dark. Next, Link summon these two cards into your Anaconda, of course. Next, Thunder Dragon Dark's effect will trigger along with Wyvern Burster. And with this, I would probably make Wyvern Burster Chain Link 1 and Thunder Dragon Dark Chain Link 2 to play around Ash Blossom. So we're going to search for our Collapse Serpent and Thunder Dragon Hawk. Next, we're going to banish our Wyvern Burster in order to summon out Collapse Serpent. And now you can use the effect of Chaos Space, banish it, return Wyvern Burster, and then draw a free card. What I like about this is that it always gives you a discard for Dragoon, pretty much, because you get a draw card, this card, this doesn't even need to be the discard. This could be an extender, but later in the combo, you're going to be able to use Collapse Serpent to search your Wyvern Burster again, which you can't use again because it's a hard one per turn, but now you just use it to discard with Dragoon. So now we're gonna use Hawk. You could bring back either from the Banished Pile or from the Graveyard. I'm going to bring it back from the Banished Pile, 
so that way we could banish it again from our graveyard next turn and kind of just keep looping this. And now we're going to link summon these two into our IP Mascarena. That'll trigger Collapse Serpent's effect again to bring us our Wyvern Burster that was sent to the bottom of our deck. Now you have another card that could possibly be an Extender or a Hand Trap, something else. And then you have the discard with Dragoon already. Of course, finally, we're going to use Anaconda's effect send red ice fusion all this stuff so that way you could get your red ice dark dragoon on the opponent's turn there's many things you can link summon into you could probably link summon it into like an Apollosa, and this will get you two materials out of it so you have the omni negate with dragoon and two monster negates with Apollosa. if you don't want to make Apollosa, of course as shown as in the deck profile you can also make avermax or abomination most of the time abomination is good when you already have your thunder dragon titan on the board so that way you get two pops okay next i'm going to show you a three card combo which involves aloof lupine thunder dragon roar and a black dragon collapse serpent now this is going to bring you to your full board that you're mainly going to want to bring out every turn and it's somewhat easy to do. Of course, Thunder Dragon Roar could be Thunder Dragon Dark also since you get two banishes off of Lupine. So we're first going to start off, of course, by normal summoning Aloof Lupine, banishing Thunder Dragon Roar and also Thunder Dragon Dark. I would probably do Thunder Dragon Roar as Chain Link 1 and Thunder Dragon Dark as Chain Link 2. So we're going to add Thunder Dragon Fusion to our hand and special summon Thunder Dragon Matrix from the deck. Next, we're going to link summon our matrix into a link Karibo. You could trigger your matrix now or when you banish it, it doesn't really matter that much. So now just add another matrix to your hand. And now you could banish this from your graveyard to special summon Collapse Serpent. Now this combo is kind of weird because next we're going to link summon these two into an IP Masquerina. And then Collapse Serpent's effect triggers adding a wyvern burster to our hand which we will use banishing our collapse serpent i normally keep thunder dragon fusion in the hand until later so that way if we do get in a root, we still have thunder dragon fusion and matrix as follow-up plays so if your opponent wouldn't abiru you right now you still get the titan and a pop with it but next we are going to pretend like they don't have nibiru by making Predaplant's Verte Anaconda. Right here is where you would activate your Red Ice, not, this isn't Red Ice Fusion. Right here you would activate your Thunder Dragon Fusion and you would return just pretty much all of your Thunder Dragons into the deck and then bring out your Titan. Of course, defense position because you still wanna play around cards like Lightning Storm. And next, finally, of course you know this already, everyone knows this hopefully, Anaconda sends the Red Ice Fusion to make Dragoon. Then on your opponent's turn, you can link summon this into either a two material Appaloosa, Avermax, Unchained Abomination. As I've always said, and I will continue to say, just look at your matchup. So I would probably summon Abomination. So that way now when you use Thunder Dragon Titan's effect, when you discard Matrix, you destroy card and then you can also use Abomination to destroy another card. And then you destroy card in the end phase, which of course I said this in the deck profile, you can actually try to destroy Thunder Dragon Titan and then use its protection effect and then trigger those Thunder Dragons from the graveyard also. So that is a pretty cool tech that you should know. Just any little thing that can make your playing optimal and make you win more and have much better experiences. So now I'm going to show you more how to play through Disruption. And the first hand trap that I'm gonna play through is going to be effect Aloof Now Aloof Lupine, it is pretty hard to hit Aloof Lupine because the two main cards that would hit it are Effect Veiler and Infinite Impermanence, which aren't even that popular this format. So the biggest thing that you would have to fear would be an Ash Blossom on one of your Thunder Dragons. So let's say you normal summon Lupine and you banish for cost. The first banish is for cost and then they chain their Effect Veiler and now its effect is negated. You can't banish the second monster, but you can still use your Thunder Dragon Roar. Special summon a Thunder Dragon Dark. Next, you're going to link summon these two into 
your Preta Plant to rotate Anaconda. This is when you would trigger your Thunder Dragon Darks effect. It doesn't really matter too much what you get here right now because you can't use Thunder Dragon Fusion. You can still search it if you want, so that way you have it for next turn because you probably will definitely be able to use it next turn. Also, if you just have like something else in your hand, like a Thunder Dragon that would be able to discard itself, then you would be able to use Fusion anyways and then it's just more recovery place for next turn. You could also add Hawk. You could just add whatever you feel like. Next, of course, we're just going to use Anaconda. And we're going to use Red Ice Fusion. And this is going to bring us a Thunder... No. A Red Ice Dark Dragoon. Now, this time, we're going to play around Ash. And now, Ash Blossom is very similar, actually, to the way you're going to play around it as Valor. Because right now, you're just going to use Lupine. Banish your Thunder Dragon Roar and probably also your Thunder Dragon Dark. Chainlink 1 would be your Roar's effect. Chainlink 2 would be Thunder Dragon Dark's effect. The Ash boss of this, this is just going to be the opponent's graveyard. Now you could just summon like a Matrix from your deck or something. Most of the time you're just going to summon and get a body on board. I would do Matrix so that way like if you do have a Thunder Dragon fusion in your hand also, it just completely plays around Ash Blossom and you don't have to worry about it at all. Boom, Anaconda, you know this. Matrix is going to add another Matrix. Anaconda is going to send Red Eyes Fusion, which will then send Red Eyes Black Dragon and Dark Magician to the graveyard, which will then summon Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. It doesn't matter where you summon it too much because it can't be targeted, so feel free to just summon it right where Anima points to. Now I am going to say this again, your opponent slaps a big fat rock down on you. Just make sure you try to keep your Thunder Dragon Fusion in hand and hopefully your Matrix also, or you would activate your Thunder Dragon Fusion and then you would get your Titan, which is pretty big. Now you have a big token and a Titan and then you have a Matrix also to this card. If you want, you could play Link Spider. That is an option. So that way you can make the token into a Link Spider. And then if you have another extender, you would just use that and then summon Anaconda to get your Dragoon out anyway, so that way you would still have a pretty decent board even through Nibiru. But a lot of times the more experienced players will wait to use Nibiru, and a lot of times you will have Anaconda before your opponent has a chance to Nibiru you. Link Spider might not be extremely useful. Of course, if you want to really play around Nibiru, you could have a Link Spider and two Anacondas in your extra deck. But now that I showed you combos and how to play around hand traps, I'm going to do a full-on test hand. Speed shuffling, start. So there was our shuffling. Now let's get into the test hand. Let's see. First, Chaos Dragon Levianir. Chaos Valkyrie. Okay, both good extenders. But we would like something that would be able to get cards in the graveyard so we could use them. Dark Magician is not good. Hawk. Gold Sarcophagus. Okay, this is a very interesting hand. I say let's start it off with a Gold Sarcophagus. I'm going to banish Roar with this. Shuffle a bit. We could shuffle, doesn't matter. So that way now we could use Roar's effect to bring out. I'm going to bring out a Thunder Dragon Dark. This is not a hand where I'm going to summon out our Thunder Dragon Titan. But I'm going to search something else with Thunder Dragon Dark. I do have the Hawk in hand, which is an extender to bring back our Thunder Dragon Roar. Next it up, Link summoning into Preta Plant Verte Anaconda. And we are going to trigger our Thunder Dragon Dark's effect. Adding to our hand a Thunder Dragon. Now right now, I want to get lights in the graveyard, so I'm going to activate Thunder Dragon and only search for a single copy of Thunder Dragon. Because I'm just going to activate it again right away to search for another Thunder Dragon. Where is it? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Boom. Thunder Dragon. Now it does suck to have Dark Magician in the hand because it could be kind of neggy. 
If we didn't have that, I would have probably summoned Matrix instead of Thunder Dragon Dark. So that way we can link off into a Link Karibo and we would get three Darks in the graveyard and use Levianir's effect to shuffle back a card in our opponent's hand to the deck. Because it's hand ripping. Hand ripping makes everything better. So now we could just use Levianir's effect now so that way if they do Nibiru us, we get a beefy token. Banishing both of our Thunder Dragons and our Thunder Dragon Hawk. And that's exactly three lights in our graveyard. So now we could use Levianir's effect. Let's bring back our, our, that's not Titan. Let's bring back our Roar. It doesn't really matter what you bring back. Just special summon something. You could special summon Dark. Because if they do put a token in defense mode right now, it would have zero defense. So you could make it have at least something, right? Now I'm going to banish. Thunder Dragon Dark in the Graveyard, a special summon, Chaos Valkyrie, and next we will Link Summon into our IP Mascarena, and finally we will activate our Anaconda's effect, sending Red Eyes Fusion to the Graveyard, along with Red Eyes Black Dragon and the Dark Magician that is in our hand, summoning out everyone's favorite big boy, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Even though we did draw Dark Magician, this hand was pretty good. And I'd say you could still easily play around like an Ash Blossom or something like that. It's now on our opponent's turn. This time I'm just going to make an Apollosa because three monster negates, three monster gates is fun. Boom, so you have a discard with Dragoon and you have three monster negates. So that was the combo video. Thank you for watching, especially if you got it to this far. And also, we made it past 100 subscribers, so that is an excellent achievement. But even though we did, there is still 96% of you who aren't subscribed. Now that number actually went lower for them out that are watching that are subscribed. So I think we could actually very easily get to 200. And that's kind of amazing to say, since 200 is practically double of what we have right now. But I think we could if the majority of you watching just subscribed. If you have any questions, anything you want to talk about, just comment in the comments. I respond very quickly to the comments and answer your questions in detail. So feel free to ask something in the comment section and we could have a nice discussion about it. As always, have a great rest of your day.